So clearly the shootings are a form of rebellion against the assigned social roles that feel insignificant. And that's the second reason for the latest mass shooting, wherever it might be, however many people may have been injured or killed. Third reason, civilization sucks. It used to be that we knew who we were, and we knew the meaning of life, and we knew what we were supposed to do and why. We lived in tribes, and we cooperated in our own survival, and we belonged. We fit in somewhere. We mattered. We had a small circle of people who mattered to us, and we all struggled together in ways that made sense. Now we're all population statistics. We're cogs in a giant machine. It's like being actors in a play that goes on forever and it has no plot. And it gets where we don't even care how it ends, if it ever even ends. The bullets we fire into others and ourselves are gifts, a kind of liberation from this drudgery and mundanity. So that's reason number three. Swivelization sucks so bad that some folks, faced with the choice of suffering meaninglessness and then dying, or just getting to the dying part, are now opting to get to the dying part and raising a middle finger in the process. I think that pretty much covers it. I don't think when the next mass shooting happens, or the one after that, or the one after that, we'll ever again have to ask ourselves, why did this happen? We're not surprised. We expect this to happen. And we know why it happens. In one sense, not to sound cold or callous, We've chosen this. So far, we've collectively chosen to maintain civilization, even at the expense of our own health and well-being, rather than maintaining our health and well-being by scrapping civilization. So, as I already said, somebody go get a mop. This is anarchist prisoner Sean Swain in exile from Ohio at Buckingham Correctional in Dillwyn, Virginia. If you're listening, you are the resistance. You can write to Sean Swain at his latest address at Sean Swain, number 2015638, Buckingham Correctional, 1349 Correctional Center Road, Dillwyn, Virginia, 23936. You can find his past writings, recordings of his audio segments, and updates on his case at seanswain.org.